Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. It's really nice to welcome you back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to export images from Lightroom Mobile into the Instagram with the best possible edge in terms of picture quality, sharpness, and with the greatest level of crispiness. Let me tell you this, if you don't feed your image with the right settings into the Instagram, the Instagram is gonna do the job for you. It's gonna crop the image the way it likes and if it feels like the image is not the right direction with not the right pixels, it's gonna do a very very crappy job for you. Which in turn turns your beautiful images just to look like an absolute garbage. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, smash that like button for YouTube algorithm. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So this is an official source from Instagram. Whenever you share a photo from your phone, regardless if it's iPhone or Android, the Instagram makes sure that it is in the best possible quality, that is 1080p resolution. If it is in the right recommended quantity, it's gonna upload your image straight away. If it feels like your image quality is lower than the expected, it's gonna enlarge the pixels and make it again look like crap. And again, if it's your images are way higher in resolution, it's gonna shrink it down. So we don't want any help with Instagram doing the job for us in terms of compressing the image. Let's jump in to Lightroom and see how to export the best possible images from Lightroom. So now let's jump into the Lightroom mobile. So let's for instance say this is the photo I want to export from Lightroom and I'm planning to do a post on my Instagram. So the first thing is to do is to complete the editing of the picture. So basically I'm gonna finish up editing my photo and which I have already done here. So in your case just complete the photo editing and then let's do this step now. Simply go to the crop in the bottom left side. Now you need to choose instead of original you need to choose here 5 by 4 and then tilt it by clicking the icon on the top right. Now you need to adjust your photo. Once you're done, simply click on the check mark. Now here is what you need to do. Click on the share button on the top. Instead of choosing save to device, you need to choose the last option which is export as. So from here you need to choose your file type as jpg jpeg the dimension is largest available you don't have to choose that this is the most important part of this video simply click and choose the custom one now your image is 4 by 5 you need to use the pixels on the long side as 1350 this should be the pixels if your images are in portrait this yes, 4 by 5 if you're uploading a landscape image it should be always 1080p because that's the max resolution that we can bump up to in my case this is 1350 right now image quality is 100 percent the next thing you need to do is go to the more options. In the more options make sure color space is sRGB and then output sharpening is screen. Screen is the option whenever you are uploading any images into the internet. Basically it's gonna be visible on any screen so Instagram is also screen by the way so you need to choose screen right here. Now this is the all settings you need to do. Now you can also keep custom text to your image and for in my case I have FCPX LUT because here is a secret part of Lightroom here. This is not the part of this video. Maybe I can do a separate video on how to create LUTs from your smartphone. In my old videos I color grade my images on my smartphone and create a LUT and then export into my Final Cut Pro. So if you're interested to know how to create your own LUT with your, using your smartphone let me know please comment down below. I will definitely do a video on that. So for now let's come back to this video now simply go back and export the image you should be all right so an export is completed so now if you upload this image into the Instagram it's gonna retain its complete picture quality and picture crispness and sharpness so this is how you upload an image to Instagram from your Lightroom mobile app I hope this video was really helpful please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please share with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe we are now over at 550 subscribers that's really massive now we need to hit the target of 1k subscribers that's gonna be the first level in my youtube we are slowly growing to hit 1k subscribers mark so please do support me by subscribing that would be highly appreciated so that's it for this video if you want to know how to create LUT using your mobile phone for your adobe premiere or final cut pro let me know i will do a different video on that and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i will see you all in the next one until then stay tuned to my channel and bye bye Bye.